got into my research career actually when I was 12 because somebody gave me a children's book on how the body works. And I thought this was absolutely fascinating and I decided right then this is what I'm going to do. And in the end decided cancer research was the most exciting because it was such a major clinical problem affecting just about every family. Now, in the 1950s, when I first uh, attended UBC, every time I arrived from 10th Avenue, I was proud to belong to this beautiful, special campus. And you felt that you were privileged to be part of it. Then I did a PhD in the Department of Zoology at UBC, and that was probably the best years of my time at UBC and among the best years of my life. It was just wonderful. Probably the most important accomplishments in my career were developing tissue culture cell lines of cancers, including cancer of the cervix, uterine cervix. Generally, I like teaching. I also taught courses in both zoology and anatomy. And I like the feeling of people suddenly understanding or knowing something that they didn't know before, and I did it. <laughs> that I still, you know, have coffees with the local ones and stuff like that. I had to retire at 65. So at, the, at 65, my salary ended, and I lost my lab in the Department of Anatomy. But then the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology, they offered me space and I got an office and lab there, but I didn't get paid, of course. And I worked there for 15 years, actually, free of charge. I could never work with mice because they are too quick, I kept dropping them. <laughs>